Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on a generator called 3D Linear Gradient. So what I have got right now is the uh, sample model which is there inside Substance Painter. This model has already uh, been uh, you know baked with its texture maps so directly we'll just uh, take on with the example so what we have right now is a simple uh, layer which I'm going to delete and then add a fill layer and then just pick a red color there or let's pick a different color this time and uh, I'll take another layer which is going to be on the top of it and then let's pick some nice uh, yellow to orange color okay so i've got this uh, model here if you could see and now i'm going to add a layer mask which is going to be a white mask and then i will add a generator to it and in the generator we have this 3d linear gradient so when we pick that you should able to see defaultly the top part has become opaque and gradually it is becoming transparent the yellow layer so i can increase the contrast okay i can increase the contrast and i can generally uh, change that so that you could see it a uh, much more clear way so uh, le let's put this back to the default position and then try to understand what exactly um, this 3d linear gradient is doing so it is trying to create a gradient uh, but here the gradient is applied on the model in uh, different axes for example a gradient is applied in the x axis so in this case it's y axis or you can generally make the gradient to be in the x axis or sometimes you want it to be in the z axis you can apply that or in angle way also you can do that so what i'm going to do is try to understand the axis here so you have a gizmo here you could see the x is in the width y in the height and a z in the depth here okay so here we have start position i'm going to change this to red color okay and then we have end position which i'm going to put it to black okay so what's happening here is you could see the gradiency is happening in the x-axis you can also invert this if you wanted it to be on the opposite side okay so the the positive x when it is true is opaque and gradually the negative side is becoming transparent and you can increase the balance and contrast for a better visual visualization okay you should able to see that uh, control so you can generally use balance to slide over the placement of this okay so the gradiency is in ha happening in the x-axis because i've chosen the start position as red color and you know the green color is y-axis so i'm going to choose the y-axis gradation i'll explore the balance and you should be able to see that y-axis here okay so if i click the uh, true false it becomes uh, opposite of it now if i choose the blue color here which is going to be I'm entering the values okay red 0 green 0 blue 1 and when I do that the gradiency is happening on the sides here again I need to explore the balance sorry in the depth okay so this is a great way to color your objects especially when it comes to the 3d um, spacing or 3d positions so uh, how do I generally is it really um, you need to pick the colors here um, like you need to pick a blue color to represent Z axis and then you need to select a red color for the X axis and you need to tell that okay this is uh, the X to uh, the, the red the X to Z axis gradation is it really required to tell that way I, do, I say not really uh, you can try uh, this in a different way altogether. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to default. Now I, I'm going to bring uh, a pass called position pass. Okay. A position pass is again a map which I have baked in this uh, method. So bake mesh maps I used and I just baked it. And uh, right now you could able to see some colors on this object red, blue, white. So, so it's a blend of RGBs. So wherever colors are red, they are more onto X. Wherever, wherever colors are blue, they are more into Z and uh, Y gets the green colors. So overall it tells the 3D spatial position. Okay. Now what you need to do is just click. Uh, let's say I want a gradation from this axis to that axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this start position pick the color picker just hold it like that okay and then just come here and then pick that color okay and then come to the end position go for the color picker and then drag that position okay now you can generally go back to the material and you should see the gradation is in that direction if you hold alt and click on the mask you will able to see the mask now uh, and its placement and then go to the linear gradient and then explore the gradation there and contrast again when you click that you, you get back this gradation here so masking uh, the object using position pass and uh, especially when you don't understand the sliders are not working for you then this should be a easiest way to mask things and I, as I told you I want to generally maybe apply the dirt on the bottom side and all so in that case I can choose the bottom and then the top and then go back to the material and then you got the masking that way okay so you can apply the dirt on the bottom side of the character especially um, let's say you um, the character is walking in dirt and the shoe became dirty so that kind of textures you can achieve here